Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is to show you how to download Livestream Producer. So go to a web browser, type in Livestream Producer Download. Click on the top link. Scroll down to computer, click on that. Click on the big red button, download free. Put in your details or any old rubbish. Job title, live streamer, email. Business phone number, I can't even remember my number, so I just type in, oh, there it's from previous, that'll do it nicely. Organisation, other, doesn't really matter, put in other, subscribe to updates, I'm going to click that off, I'm not a robot, click that, submit. Okay. It's downloading. Okay, that's it downloaded, so I'm clicking on it. Uh, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? Yes. It may be slightly different for you, depending on what kind of operating system you've got. Welcome to Livestream Producer Setup Wizard. Click Next. I accept terms and conditions. Click Next. Uh, <coughs> install. And that's it, finished. Okay, when you get this screen cannot click ignore and you're left with the login details for, a, for the independencelivestream.com account. I'll come back to this later. Okay, I'm going to show you how to check your, the speed of your internet. Click on a web browser, I'm using Chrome, I recommend it. Type in speedtest.net. Click go. It will give you the download and upload speed. And it's currently download. It's doing the check, you can see it running along. This is KBS, kibits per second. This is important. You can change it to megabits per second by clicking on settings and changing it to megabits per second. Now it's doing upload. So my download is pretty healthy. That's about 22 megabits per second. But we really don't care about downloading when we're live streaming. <coughs> Excuse me, it's uploading. And it's about 11 megabits per second upload. All right, so that's uh, a good figure there. Okay, I'm going to show you the settings for using Livestream Producer to Skype. Click on Livestream Producer icon. Ignore that. Type in the Independence Live Livestream.com account details. Click on Remember Me. Okay. If you look at the top drop down here, it lists all what events. The top ones are, are, are the latest ones. These will be the up and coming events. Beneath that will be ones that we've live streamed to. And at the bottom will be uh, unpublished events. Really important because at one point you, you're going to create a, an unpublished event to do some test live streams to, okay? But you, you've also got this preview only. 
right? This lasts about four minutes, so you set that to preview only to help you get set up. Uh, down, down here, you have another drop down, and you want to set that to no camera, no camera, okay? Beneath that, you've got quality, right? These are presets, right? Don't need to worry what presets are, but if you've got a really fast connection, like I have with uh, nine, nine megabits per second upload, I, could, I would put it to that, because that's really good. Normal is like low quality setup. Yeah, I'm just putting it to there, not normal quality. Right, click on preferences. Don't need to worry about this. Click on uh, video. Right, those uh, normal quality presets have filled this in. That's set at 360 kbps per second, that's very low. Uh, but uh, if you never get one, two megabits per second, three megabits per second uh, upload, you know, I'd keep it at 350, normal quality. And these are automatically set, output resolution, 512. Again, that's set because of the, uh, the, the quality presets. If you select normal quality, it sets it as 512, 288. Okay, next one, uh, desktop. Don't worry about audio at the moment, desktop. Show mouse, you want to make sure that's off because that, if you mouse over um, the, the, the part of the screen you're live streaming, it will show your mouse, so click, switch that off. Keep show preview, highlight mouse, again, it will highlight if you scroll over uh, the area of your screen that you're live streaming. Down here, uh, that's quite handy, just to let you know about it, save video to file, we can actually save the live stream that you're doing locally. Okay, and that's it for desktop. Right, audio, a bit more complicated, into audio, don't touch them. This one, open audio mixer, quite important, click on that. And at the moment, um, you can't see anything because I'm hooked up to a, another mic. So if you see this, microphone H6. So if you see that flashing, you've got the correct, uh, the correct one selected. If I had another person involved in a call, right, that's me, right, so that's my, mine, right, but if another person is involved, you would, like in a Skype call, you'd put that, you'd set that, okay. But I'll, uh, what I'll do is I'll create another video for that. Let's just get rid of that. Close that. Okay, so that's it. I'll come back and show you um, an exa a test of a Skype live stream. Okay, I'm going to show you how to set up a, a Skype live stream using Live Stream Producer and also to show a video. First thing, let's do a speed test. Check our connection, make sure it's uh, good enough for live streaming. Okay, that's looking pretty healthy. So that's 20 meg download. It's now doing upload. We, upload is of more concern to us. And this is in megabits per second. Okay, so that's very good download and more importantly, very good upload. Right, let's have a look at settings. We can change it to kibits per second. And result history, scroll down and that's it in kibits per second. Okay, right, we'll get rid of that. And uh, we've got live stream producer here. I've got Skype open with Alan Knight director of London Calling on at the moment, so I'm going to be talking to him. So this is me uh, setting up a Skype uh, live stream with someone, okay? So let's look at live stream producer. All right, so I want to set it at preview only. Okay, I'm going to click go live. Now preview only, it doesn't live stream. But this green box you can see allows me to set up, set up and position what part of the screen I'm going to live stream. 
Okay, now if looking at Skype, I want to split the screen. Right, ready that. Pull this over, or I can move the green box over till I get Alan. Alan in the picture. And there's me. Okay, so that's all. I can move this about a little bit, position it a bit better. Okay, you can also move it about like that. Okay, so that's that's good enough. Now, suppose I wanted a, to put a video there as well. I want to line this up as well. So, just trying to get this like that. Okay, that looks good enough. Um, maybe bring this up a bit. Okay. Just check that. Sorting out the video. Pushing it down a bit. So that's good. Now let's let's see Alan again. Right. Okay, so over to live stream producer. Uh, I'm going to check the sound. As you can see, once you click uh, go live, there's a little mixer button down here. If you click on that, bring that up. I'm going to leave this kind of on screen over here. Right, if you look at this box, microphone H6, that's me talking. But Alan, could you say a few words? I can say a few words, yeah. This is a test for that, that's, that's grand. Right, now Alan's not included in this yet, right? So what I need to do is click Add Source and find Alan. Let's see, I'll try this one. Alan, could you say a few words? Uh, just to say that uh, please support Independence Live, folks. We need your alternative media, so the mainstream media is completely corrupt. Uh, excellent. Okay, so you can see there's another band there and that's, that's worked fine. So if I can close that. Okay. Stop this. So that's the, that's me set up everything preview right. Now, let's say I want to go live. Now I've set up a, a draft event. For, okay, so that's something you, you want to do. I've set up, uh, let's see, where is it? One called general test. All the draft events are down the bottom. There it's there, general test. Okay, so when I live stream to this, it will not, nobody will know about it. I'll just create a draft video. So, okay, so I'll click on go live. Oh, just before I start, uh, you look at the other properties here. No camera, normal quality, that's a preset. Okay, different options. Uh, I'm just sticking with normal quality, but with my speed, I could have went HD, the top one, but we'll stick it normal quality. Okay, preferences. Over here. Uh, video, they're all presets. Nothing to change here. Desktop. Uh, show mouse is off. Highlight mouse is off. So that's all good. I'm not recording locally, but you could. All right. Again, click look at audio again, open audio mixer. All's fine there. Just close that. Just save that. And I'm ready to go. Okay, so here goes. Okay. Hi and welcome to Independence Live, Alan. Good talking to you again. Good talking to you, Kev. Good to see you again. Th thank you for helping me with the test. I'm now going. I'm now going to show the video.
Okay, that will do that. I'll get Alan back up. And we're back, Alan. Uh, that was an interesting video. Yeah, which one was it? You showed again. Uh, <laughs> uh, what one was it? You brought it was um, the only game in town. Uh, we're going to be live streaming that soon. But uh, I'll, call, I'll, I'll phone you back after this. Okay, I'm just going to stop this uh, live stream. Okay, mate? Okay, bye now. And this is me stopping it. Okay, uh, come. You got to, uh, this message. We press stop. It's published now. It's a test. We don't want to do that. Save as draft. We want to do that. Okay, post. And that is it.